Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. As promised, I am here with my full product review video for the FabFitFun Spring 2021 spoilers. All of them, I did find some really interesting facts about a lot of them. Some of them, there wasn't really so much more to tell, but I will let you know as much as I found out about each of the products. If you are new to my channel, what I like to do for these kinds of videos is I like to record my computer screen because I like to take you around to different websites that I found so I can show you the information that way. I don't claim to be an expert in this at all. I just really enjoy finding out more information about these products and interacting with all of you. So if you have information to share, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear it. So let's get into recording my computer screen. This is what the spring box will look like. And here are all of the options for customization choice one. All subscribers will be able to pick one of the following for their spring box. This is the duffel bag we've already talked about. And when I read the description for this, I was confused. They talked about stay space, like we should know what that means. It is the zipper pull on the duffel bag right here. That's the stay space. It's basically their logo, logo and it is based on their CEO. And this is her. This is the home page of the Alice and Olivia website. And the CEO's name is Stacy Benday, I would think is how you would pronounce that. It's B E N D E T right there. And isn't this just an amazing picture? So that's her face. The Stace face is their logo. And I really love this picture. I think it's just so artistic and she looks just fabulous. This is a boutique brand and they can also be found in a lot of department stores. The one thing that's notable about this duffel is it is quite small. If you look at these dimensions and you were to kind of measure that out for yourself to conceptualize what size, is, what size it will actually be, it's a very, very small duffel bag. It looks more like a tote, I feel. Uh, so it's a weekender, you know, you could fit a couple outfits, a nightie, and some sundries in it if you wanted to. Okay, Paracone MD. I have been wanting to look into Paracone MD for a while, and I finally did, and I have decided that I will never try anything by the brand. I read some articles, let's see, I think it was on Beautypedia. Yeah, so it was here, and they talk, this isn't the exact product from Paracone, but this is like it and it has the ingredient acyl glutathione and apparently according to this article this is a really really intense antioxidant and is very very good for us but the way it is packaged it loses its integrity integrity quite quickly and then also there's another ingredient in it known as dmae or dimethyl mea that is supposed to have initial benefits, but then long term, it's actually not good for our skin. Here it says, interestingly, there is a formulation challenge when using DMAE in skincare products. In order to maintain efficacy, efficacy and stability, the product's pH level needs to be at least 10. A pH of 10 is highly alkaline, which isn't good news for skin. A high pH like this can increase bacteria content in the pore and cause dryness, dryness and irritation. Moreover, since almost all moisturizers are formulated with a pH that closely matches that of human skin, generally 5.5 to 6.5, in all likelihood, the DMAE used in skincare products cannot have any prolonged functionality. And this is actually quoting a peer-reviewed journal. So I have never really looked at Beautypedia very much in the past, but I do, I'm very impressed with what I read on their site last night. They also reference a website called Quackwatch. Dot org, and they also, on that website, really debunked Paracone, uh, Dr. Paracone in general, saying that he really isn't a very skilled doctor, that he maybe has two peer-reviewed articles on glycolic acid, and otherwise he just kind of hit it big and has run with it and makes false claims about what his products can actually do. So if you've ever heard the term Dr. Quack, uh, this website is run by an MD himself 
himself a retired MD, and it has this article, A Skeptical View of the Paracone Prescription, that is really, really interesting to read about Dr. Paracone and basically saying he doesn't know what he's talking about and he just makes these claims and he puts ingredients in that he claims will work and that he charges he overcharges and he's just making a lot of money on and unverifiable and erroneous statements i will never be trying anything by paracone md apparently he had a pbs appearance that just went really really well and it set him up for success early on. Other than that, it has on Sephora very, very mixed reviews, a lot of negative reviews about the scent in particular. Here it says natural aromatic rose scent. Some people were saying they couldn't stand it, they had to throw it away. One person even said that they decided to try using it on their feet since it would be further away from their face and even that was hard. So the scent to, to some people is really, really strong. So I hard pass on that for me. And then the next product is, product is the Short Stories LED Indoor Planter and the True Leaf Market Italian Large Beef uh, large leaf basil seeds large beef excuse me so basil seeds they only ship to us and the planter will only ship to us and canada so i'm sorry to our uk friends this is a fabfitfun in-house brand i learned and it also like the duffel bag oh the dimensions aren't here but i did see the dimensions elsewhere and this is also quite small i will try to put them in the description box below i don't want to hunt right now and bore you this is a fabfitfun in-house brand and therefore there's not too much you can research about what the product is like because it's a new brand of theirs and I haven't seen it before. Apparently they dissolved ish. And then this watch is leather and so if you are vegan it is not for you. And when you look up this watch brand you find that it's a subsidiary of a larger watch comp maker and that watchmaker was established in 2015. So they're newer. They make really stylish watches and there's not much else to find as far as reviews or even on an about page about the company. This is from a designer and they make very clean looking boho chic designs and stuff that you would find in Cosbox actually. It kind of reminded me of a very Cosbox style when you go to the Jenny Kane website. And then the next product is the Tech Candy UV sanitizing bed and I did a little bit of research on <laughs> the UV sanitizers and there is some information I read on the FDA site, the Food and Drug Administration, just talking about how you want to make sure you get a high quality one for it to actually really be effective. So I don't know, I couldn't find too, too much on this particular one to figure out if it would really be effective in the way we are hoping that it would be. And then the next one is the Milk Makeup Watermelon Brightening Face Mask and Mini Watermelon Brightening face serum. So the ma milk makeup in general just has really mixed reviews I find. I think they're a wonderful brand. They're clean, they use sustainable materials and ingredients and I really really like them for that reason and some of their stuff is just great but you go to the Sephora listing for this one and it has three and a half stars with 105 reviews which isn't great. It is for normal dry combination and oily, so all skin types. It is good for dryness, dullness, and uneven texture, and loss of firmness and elasticity. That is me to a T. <laughs> uh, but you can see these mixed reviews here, and uh, people are saying they don't see visible results. This person said they felt like it wasn't hygienic since you rub the same stick on your face over and over. This one it does nothing. This person says it's fantastic, fantastic and actually works. Um, so super, super mixed reviews. And the serum had better reviews, uh, but so almost four stars, 276 reviews. It fights similar things as the mask, but again, mixed reviews. I love this product. Unfortunately, it's not a good value. Uh, but that doesn't really matter if you choose it for your box. Didn't do anything, <laughs> didn't do nothing for my skin. 
Um, this is very waxy and almost greasy. It doesn't absorb into your skin. It sits on top of the skin like a thick layer of plastic. I would not recommend this product. I received a mini size of this. I heard great things about it, so I was excited. However, they weren't impressed. Sticky, sticky and waxy. So it looks like a lot of people are saying that it's sticky and waxy and it clog, could clog your pores. I've seen that a couple of times as we, I've been scrolling. And then here is the Shoshana uh, umbrella that I just think is adorable. I think it is so cute. And I don't have much else to say about that. In my first impression video, a few people did respond saying that they got that umbrella and they really, really like it. And so here is their website. You can see that their style in general kind of matches the umbrella floral, very feminine. Okay, uh, debuted in 1998. She was born in Manhattan. The Shoshana aesthetic has always been feminine and distinctive. Okay, so they are also boutique, also available in some department stores and anthropology. Okay, and then the next item available in this selection would be the CalPak set of three packing cubes. This is a company that's been around since 89, and they have been making uh, products that you use for travel for um, ever since then and they just uh, passed along the company to their daughter who is rebranding so that she can target uh, younger audiences. And then here are all of the options for customization choice too. All subscribers will be able to pick one of the following for their spring bra box. So that's both annual and seasonal members and this is the Our Place Lunchbox, a $35 value. And I learned that this is the same company that makes those pans that we've been seeing all over Instagram and in YouTube ads. Let's see. So here is the, it's the always pan. So we've been, I've been seeing this everywhere. It is just all over the place. And this is it. So there we go. It's that same company. And I mean, this is Tupperware. You can't say much else about it, but this pan has amazing reviews so I am actually wondering if this is going to be in the actual add-on sale and then the mission was really really interesting and the pictures were really really unique they believe in ethical labor they believe in using sustainable materials and paying their workers well and I'm not sure if the people in these pictures are models or if they actually are people that are involved in the company but they've also partnered with the los angeles food policy council in south la and then the next choice for this customization option is the billion dollar brows six piece pro brush essentials kit a 62 dollar value billion dollar brows is founded by somebody who's from los, An or los angeles it was founded in los angeles she's actually from orange county and it was about it was in the early 2000s i believe and they they are a sustainable, cruelty-free makeup brand, and their brush brushes are infused with charcoal to try to fight um, bacteria. Antimicrobial effect is what it says. So that's interesting. If you need brushes, I would say this could be a good set. I've used a few of their products, and I do think that they make decent products. Okay, this is the Josie Marin Pure Argan Oil, and I looked up her website and I wasn't you know terribly impressed by this as a brand apparently she was an actress and she decided she wanted to make something she wanted to make a line of products that were effective and and sustainable and uh, with good ingredients and she decided to make this brand argon oil itself is from uh, Morocco it's a nut from a tree and in Morocco they use it as a food item they dip bread in it uh, and then it was used for um, and then they used it topically on their skin and then of course the world caught on and now we commercialize it and market it and also if you have oily skin or you're acne prone it is a very lightweight oil so it's really nice for that kind of skin type and then the next product is the splendid fall for slippers in pink there wasn't much to say on the website it is a company they make clothing and they didn't have anything notable but 
These are adorable and they're very on trend. Gaia Yoga, they get their name from Gaia, which is the earth goddess, and then I am, which is I am. So basically it's kind of like a conjunction or a mashup of words where it's like I am an earth goddess, essentially is what they were going for with that. But they're a growing company and, and that's about it on that product. And then this brand actually has a really interesting style. I really enjoyed looking at their website and the other products they have available and they make clothes and things like that. I didn't see anything notable that stood out as far as what they do like in the community or anything like that, but they do have a really good style. This would be, if you got this, this would be a really cute gift for like that teenager in your life, like a 17 year old girl. So let's look at Steel Mill & Co. So yeah, they actually primarily advertise clothing. No, I don't want that. And they are in Kentucky. It's a lifestyle boutique. That's about it there. And then the MAC Powder Kiss Lipsticks. So MAC is hands down not cruelty free. So they have a solid four out of five stars on the Elto website and it says matte neat moisture with Max Powder Kiss Lipstick. Get into a totally new lip experience with this matte formula that feels weightless, instantly hydrates, and doesn't dry out lips. Experience a kiss of blurred, soft focus color that's backstage tested and artist approved. The result is the zero shine look of a matte lipstick with the cushiony lightweight feel of a bomb. Immediate and long-term hydration, smooth lips, soft matte texture, weightless, comfortable formula, backstage tested and artist approved. So this has mixed reviews as far as what people think about the formula and the shades that we have available to us are work, work, work. So this one right here, this red one and reverence. And so this very light nude color right here. The, so the good reviews say it feels comfortable, beautiful color, etc. The bad reviews say that they didn't like the color that they got, um, that it was sheer. It's supposed to be buildable. A lot of the complaints are the colors. Oh, here's one about the shade that's available to us. I ordered a MAC Powder Kiss lipstick. I was very excited for this product and it was supposed to be moisturizing and baby pink color, but it was anything, wasn't anything as per the description. Lipstick is very dry and cakey, not at all pigmented. I also bought Pure Reverence MAC Powder Lip Kiss Lipstick, which will be delivered soon and I don't want to try it at all. Powder Kiss is not at all natural looking, pigmented, moisturizing, etc. Wears off ungracefully and quickly. Patchy, patchy and terrible coverage. There were some people who said it was wonderful. Obviously, I don't read those because usually they're very, very much the same, the positive reviews, but I like to see what criticisms people had. And then here are all the options for customization choice three. All subscribers will be able to pick one of the following for their spring box. So this is the Alice and Olivia brand again, the hat version of the duffel bag. I won't get into it other than to say check the dimensions and make sure it will fit your head. Uh, it also has a white inside so it's reversible. And then the next item are the Bloomingville Woven Seagrass Coasters and this is a Danish company and they became big in, in Europe and now they are excited to be in the United States, they say, on their website. Uh, so this is what the rest of the pictures look like. And that's about everything I could find on that brand. And then on this ring, this is Joy Dravecki. She and her husband run their company in Newport Beach, California, and they are in anthropology and some other stores. And it's a gorgeous ring. The stone, it's not a stone, it's made of glass. And then this is cubic zirconia and then it's gold plated brass. So you do have to care for this to make sure it won't tarnish. I don't understand why they have these pr price tags on something that's brass, but that's just me and I sound like a broken record. It should at least be gold plated sterling silver at this price, I feel. 
or even stainless steel. And here is another item that cannot ship to the EU and the UK, Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Hair Mask. This is a luxury salon brand, basically. There were some reviews on the Derm Store website. I believe this is the same product in a different package. Five solid stars out of 21 reviews. People say it doesn't weigh their hair down, which is awesome, and several of the reviews say that. Let's see where else it's available at Amazon. Again, I believe this is the same. So this does have really good reviews. The Verso Super Eye Serum with Retinol 8. Verso Skincare. Retinol 8 is the Verso Skincare Proprietary Retinol. It has a unique ability to reinforce the communicative properties of the skin cells. It is eight times as effective as traditional retinol and reduces the risk of irritated skin by 50%. Well, uh... Now on to customization choice four. Annual subscribers can choose their their now on to customization choice four. Annual subscribers can pick which product they'll get and seasonal will get whatever FabFitFun picks for them for this customization choice. The first item is the Ahaba Refreshing Cleansing Gel. Ahaba is a vegan line of products and they're based in Israel and I really do like a lot of their stuff. They have very, very clean ingredients as well and this has really good reviews. People say that it is, it's for oily skin, but people say that it's good for oily skin, but without being overly drying. I did see on Amazon that the scent was described as palm, P-A-L-M, like the tree. So I guess it smells like a tree, but that could be really nice. That could be really nice. I'm trying to imagine what that would be like, but this is well liked and if you have oily skin this one could be for you and then the next one is by Sorbus it's this makeup organizer and this company they make a lot of home goods essentially they started out making kitchen stuff and then they have branched out into home organization and other items for the home I looked at Sorbus actually is a genus of trees and bushes in the rose family i happened to learn as i was researching this product so that's pretty much all there is to say about that and then we have the erno laszlo sea mud deep cleansing bar a 38 dollars value and this one is fascinating so erno laszlo used to be cruelty free unfortunately in about 2017 i believe it was they started selling in china and they are no longer cruelty free therefore but I went to the website and this guy's story is really amazing. So this is the Erno Laszlo site and this is the about page and they're based in New York and they've been around since 1927. This is Erno Laszlo. He is the founder and it says he opened his first institute in Budapest in 1927, complete with a lab for creating personalized formulations and developing bespoke treatments like the custom Formula 3 One made to heal the acute acne of Princess Stephanie of Hungary. So he's said to have healed the acute acne of royalty. He has worked with clients like Katherine Hepburn and Greta Garbo, and we'll see later Marilyn Monroe. He is really, seem, he really seems like a fascinating guy. And then in 1939, he opened an institute in New York on Fifth Avenue. And he is, and they say that he is the person who came up with the idea of the double cleanse and also with the idea of having personalized skincare routines for different people. And if, like for instance here this story, he apparently was able to help this person's skin after she was shot in the face by a suitor who she, whom she rejected. She was a Hungarian actress, Frida Gombajogi, and he was really apparently passionate about helping women have confidence. That's what this whole thing is about. This is really fascinating. I mean, I would love to try his stuff, but they did start selling in China, and I do try my best not to purchase a products that aren't cruelty free. There's so many great options out there that are cruelty free and even vegan. And then here, let's see what else. Oh, this is where it talks about how he is the founder or originator of the idea of the double cleanse. Here's a quote from Marilyn Monroe that he not only heals my skin, but he soothes my soul. 
Anyway, and then here they have a tab on Audrey Hepburn talking about him and Jackie Onassis and Greta Garbo. So this is really, really interesting. And on top of that, this does have good reviews. I do recall people saying good things and being excited when they saw products from Erno Laszlo show up in the sales. And then the next thing is this Larkin Ives hair scarf bundle. I did check out the website and it is a woman owned company, fairly new, uh, founded by uh, two women who used to do wedding planning and they decided to start a business together basically. And this is a great example of FabFit Fund supporting women owned brands and trying to help them get off the ground. Then we have the Grown Alchemist Body Cream Mandarin and Rosemary Leaf. And I love Grown Alchemist in general. I have tried this one. It was in different packaging when I tried it. It was a few years back. I really, really like this as a lotion. I am not a fan of the smell. It smells like creamsicle to me. And I have learned that I am not into creamsicle as a scent in my lotions. Now, Grown Alchemist is an Australian brand. They are vegan. They are wonderful. I have used many things that I have really, really liked from Grown Alchemist. And aside from my bias against the scent, this is a really well-loved lotion. I remember when it was available before people really, really liked it. And I was able to send it to another FabFitFun subscriber. We did a swap. So it didn't go to waste. Next is Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. So I have purchased Elemis in the past thinking totally erroneously that they were cruelty-free. And one of you pointed out to me that they are not. And I misremembered I would have bet money that I checked a couple years ago whether or not they were cruelty free and that there's and statuses can change so you do have to check regularly but I thought I checked and I thought that they were but they are not cruelty free so I will not be purchasing any more Elemis products I can say that confidently I've tried so many already thinking that they were cruelty free. So I apologize if I misled you as far as that's concerned, but this is the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel and I have used this one and I do think it is great. I do think that it is a good idea to try to use it definitely within its life because these kinds of enzyme exfoliants can become less effective fairly quickly, I've read. So it is good to try to use this one with in the PAO time frame. Elemis is a London-based company. They are award-winning. They started in 1989 and they have just grown and grown and grown since and they are really well-loved and they do make very nice products. And when I used this mask, I really, really liked it. I felt like it did something for my skin and my skin was soft afterwards. Here is Customization Choice 5. This is another option where only annual subscribers will get to choose if your seasonal FabFitFun will pick for you. And the first product is the Pure Cosmetics Iconic Glow Illuminating Face and Body Dry Oil. And this has pretty decent reviews on their website. And Pure Cosmetics, I have used one or two things from them. I've always had a fondness for the brand though. I would like to use more of their products. Uh, They are vegan, cruelty free, they're into sustainable ingredients, all those things that I love about a brand. And this product has actual diamond dust in it, which is really, really interesting. Diamond powder, it says. So that was kind of a fun, I thought. So I really enjoyed checking out their website and learning a little bit more about the brand. Like I said, I've always had a fondness for them and liked what I've seen so far. And then the next product is the Camp Collection Dip Dye Market Tote, $25 value. And this is sold by a company that has a really, really interesting way of marketing themselves. If you go to their About page, they're all about literally having kind of a 1970s, 1980s summer camp aesthetic. And that's their marketing plan and scheme and well, that's about it. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. It's very specific. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah, they started in the Mission District in San Francisco, which is a really, really cool area. I lived in San Francisco for 10 years. I didn't really see anything else that stood out to me, but I do like this tote. Um, Then the next product is the Cocoa Floss Tropical Trio, and I 
have never used the cocoa floss stuff. I think that people really do enjoy it. I am actually, after researching it a little more for this video, quite intrigued with trying it. Their website's really, really fun to visit. They are a brand that was founded by two sisters in San Mateo, and one of the sisters is a dentist, and the other sister is a an artist, and the dentist sister is really, really into uh, flossing because she's a dentist, of course, and noticed that her clients, her patients, had a lot of trouble getting on board with flossing and I am so guilty of that and so she set out to figure out a way to market floss that was actually fun and that people would want to use so that they could be more motivated to floss basically and her sister was apparently a self-proclaimed non-flosser and she got her on board flossing. Look how fun this website is and apparently the floss here, the, this fl the floss that's got it all grabs plaque, holds strong stays flexible. It's designed to compress between even the tightest spaces. This is one of the reasons I'm a terrible flosser. I'm, I'm, I think I might pick up some cocoa floss if it's in a sale again. It's been in many, many sales since I joined, so maybe this will be the floss that will get me to floss. I, I'll go two weeks every single day flossing and then for some reason it just stops and then I realize I haven't flossed and then I have to start again and I, uh, blah 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 you guys don't care about that okay so I thought that this was fun to learn about and then the next product is a summer and rose tweezer with pouch and this is an in-house brand fabric fun in-house brand and there's really not much else to say about it and then the next product is the H. Halston Aloe Infused Gel Line Socks and Pumice Stone. And this is a brand that's on QVC and HSN. And when I was looking into this, I thought it was interesting because there's a designer named Halston from the 70s. And he was a high-end fashion designer. He designed for like Mick Jagger, Mick Jagger and, you know, Studio 54, pe people going to Studio 54 and Liza Minnelli. He was really really, you know, up there with like Versace and all of that. And he passed away and the name Halston was just kind of up for grabs after that and no one ever when I, no one ever really carried it on. And so I don't know. I tried to find why they're called H Halston. I couldn't find a website for this brand specifically. So I couldn't really find more insp information, but I just kept on running into stuff about this high-end designer, which I'm sure, well, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like the H. Halston line of clothes and all of that have anything really to do with the high fashion designer. They are a brand that's on QVC and HSN. I did, I did see some mixed reviews on the forums about this brand. For Customization 7, FabFitFun will also choose this one for everyone. And we have the Skin Forum Suns Out Pouts Out Lip Mask. Now, this had one review on the Skin Forum website, and it was a solid five-star review. They were really happy that they discovered the product product and they said they worked it that it worked really really well for them and this is a brand that is founded by the people who did the Vosch uh, pedicure in a box products that were in the fall box I want to say and they're based in New York and their products are made in Korea I've liked a lot of k-beauty products that I've used in the past so that's a little bit about that one and then the next product is this pink sky cactus cuckoo straw let me know in the comments below are you excited for this one i can only see myself using this in a select few circumstances and i couldn't find anything really about it so i think that might be why they intentionally put a big picture of the tag right here so it, we at least had a little bit of information uh, let me know if you could find anything about this one. Leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you found. This says it's dishwasher safe, BPA lead and phthalate free, cold liquids only, wash thoroughly before use. So this is, this is a novelty product. It really is. And then the next product is Kelly Cosmetics Body Wash. This was made specifically for FabFitFun, so I couldn't find any reviews really on this particular product. Kelly Cosmetics is the same brand that made the makes the Taraco line that we've seen in a lot of our boxes and in sales, and they are based in Sicily, Italy. 
Uh, it looks like their address is in Florida, but they are in Italy. Islands of Italy, it says here on their on their bottle. Uh, but there, you'll see a address for For Florida a lot as well. And then for customization eight, this is the last one. We have the Sai Beauty Makeup Rounds, and these are these look like actually um, powder puffs instead of cotton rounds. I've seen some people say that they were cotton rounds. I would use this for powder. And this was founded by its female founded, so Fabric Fun is doing it again, supporting a female founded company. And you read the about page, and it's another one of those stories where she set out on a mission to change the beauty world and make things clean and affordable and for everybody. So you read that so often on about pages, but you know, it's nice. It's nice to read that. And it is vegan and cruelty free. Now, here is the Nails Ink Nail Polish. I'd really like to try their stuff. They are 21 free. They're based in London and they are 21 free. I have never seen 21 free before. I've seen 18 free and that is the cleanest nail polish I have ever used but 21 free so that's really awesome and I have heard good things about their nail polishes so I do hope to try one of them at some point and that's it that's everything I hope this was helpful to you I feel like there were some products I couldn't find too much on and I did try to dig if, again if you have any information I don't claim to be an expert please go ahead and leave it in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing and introducing yourself I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.